Right, we're rolling. Uh, right, here we go. This is totally off the cuff and, um, well actually I'm sitting in the shed. Yeah, this is nothing like uh, a fat Scotsman stating the obvious. Um, I, and I'm actually on a, a group just now. Uh, I'm on uh, North East Vapours, NEV. Um, righteous dudes. Uh, and um, they, they've st Simon started off his, his best of 2016 type thing and normally towards the end of the year I do the best of 2016 and I usually put a bit of thought into these things and, and, and sit down and, and go through everything I look back through the year at what I've reviewed and 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 yeah, go with it I can't be arsed doing that this year <laughs> um, so I'm totally off the top of the head um, I really, I, can I do this? I really do need a bit of structure in this um, what, how can I, I'll tell you what, I'll go to Nev and, I'll, and I'll, I'll look at their list of what they've put up and I will follow that format I might have to expand on it a wee bit I think uh, and I'm uploading a video so this is going really really slow um, right there we go, the best of 2016 so far Best mod. Best mod. Right. Let's get one thing clear. When I uh, am shouting stuff off here, um, I have lots of mods up there that I've received and reviewed or bought in 2016. Uh, I deal with a lot of mod makers, uh, companies, resellers, all that kind of jazz and th there's so many of them and I could sit here and I could rhyme so many great mods off but I just don't have the time to do that and, and I don't think you want me to be going through uh, into minute detail on what I like that one for, what I like that one for I'm just going to try and keep it to the best one and maybe rhyme off a few that I really really that I've kept and that's the thing, it's going to be ones that I keep use um, and personally like. Now this is the big thing, this is based on my vaping style uh, so <laughs> yeah that's the problem, it's what I like it's not a review in any shape or form, it's just what I like um, so let, let's go for it, right, best mod now the strange thing here is that Simon Sawyers uh, did put up that the best mod, mod he thought was the Vape Droid DNA 75 which is this bad boy here. Now I would and this is going to be a, a strange one for a lot of people I would agree with that. This is as as possibly been as an all-rounder, taking into consideration um, a lot of things uh, price, who made it, uh, customer service, uh, the quality, uh, everything taking it into account um, this, this, the vape droid would uh, is what I would consider to be my favourite mod of the year and that's just because it covers so many bases it was, it was from a high-end mod maker who got in partnership with S Body, um, and and I just love it. I absolutely love it. I, 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 I'm not going to get into descriptions why or, or or justify my reasoning. It's just for me as an all-rounder. Uh, this is my favourite mod of 2016. Possibly many people didn't see that one coming. Um, I actually didn't myself, um, but the the thing is, as the year's gone on, um, and since it arrived, it's it stayed up there, and it gets used on a regular basis, which is is a sign of how good it is. Um, other mods that I, <laughs> here's another one. These ones aren't. Um, what I would consider to be the best or my personal favourite but it's ones that I have another week for. This is another um, budget type one if you like um, is the Aspire NX75 this is 
another daily beater type mod that I use. Um, I I just like this a lot. I love the menu system on it. I like the fact that they went for the four buttons. Uh, it's so easy to get around it, to navigate it, to update it, to personalise it. It's just like a little solid block and it's it's huge props to Aspire for this one because Aspire made shit mods for a long time. They really lost their way but I think with that they, they excel. They really did. Um, that's... I'll come back to those ones in a minute. So that's my best mod. Now, that's let's, let's go for regulated on that. Um, th there's, there's other one. I mean, I could go on about G Provs, uh, metal. I mean, I'm vaping just now. My Metal Madness Vapor stuff, uh, which I, I I love what they've done this year. Absolutely adore what they've done this year. Uh, I've got my my two little G Provs that um, them that these are two. Of my, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, other mods. Uh, I bought that this year. Um, stunning. Uh, that's RSM mods. I love that. Uh, I bought uh, a couple of Jim Shorrox mods. Uh, these are two of my favourites as well. Um, and <laughs> there's so many. There's so many. Uh, but yeah, I'll stop there. Right. Squonking mod. Right. I'm a huge squonking fan. And, and this is an easy easy one for me um where's it gone well oh, there she blows this the dia uh or the dea by art and mod this is this is just sublime i am yeah i know this is an expensive bit of kit and all the rest of it and uh, they're not out there in big huge numbers uh but this is <laughs> That's why I'm having a squonking category because I had to get it in here somewhere. It, the the firing button's a little bit too light. It's a bit. I would like it a bit clickier. And uh, there's a couple of things uh, about it, but it's my personal favourite. I think I shall sneeze at this point, just to celebrate. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Obviously, as far as squonkers go, I have, I, you know, I still have, uh, I've got all my Darwin mod squonkers, which I use on a regular basis as well. I love these guys to bits. Um, I love Eddie. Eddie's just a sound bloke, so big props to Darwin. Um, I also want to put a shout out to, you know, this man in Wales that makes these that I keep going on about. Uh, I, I use this one an awful, awful lot. Uh, it's a really good squonker this and also if, you, if, you, if you're looking for a yeah I'll stop with that and the squonking stuff okay um, Simon's got the best all in one and he's put the billet box rev 4 yeah best all in one I'll say the same I'm just copying Simon because he's a big dude and he beat the shit out of me in a fight anyway um, that the billet box rev 4. Now, um, I love the billet box before this one. Uh, the same issues that I had with the previous version I have with this one. It's a messy bugger. It is. I don't care. That's my take on it. Uh, it can be messy. Um, it's only a DNA 40. Uh, you know, changing coils out and things like that. Total pain in the arse. Um, it's expensive. Um, but it is a favourite mod of mine, it really is. This has been my my go-to mod oh, so often. It really has. Um I always want also want to put a shout out to Elemental Mods, uh the people uh Anthony that made the covers for me. I bought these covers from him earlier on. Um Anthony I just started dealing with them this year and Total Gent his work is superb. Um he sent me a couple free uh, to begin with to show off to people and I liked them so much I bought more. Uh, so that's that. Um, right, so that's the best all-in-one. Uh, the best 
tank. The best RTA. Oh, right. Um, now, this is a strange thing. Once again, the best RTA for me, I'm talking all round. I'm not talking the one that's best built, the one that looks the best, the one that performs the best. Um, it, it's not just something that excels in one category or excels in all of them. It's something that I personally like. Uh, and for me, that's going to... Oh, shite. See? So disorganised. Um, get them both out here. Wake on my drip tip stand here. Uh, the Hussars. Um, the oh, and I want to put another shout out uh, for uh, most of these drip tips come from uh, Siam Mods, who's Graham's just a top notch dude, sarcastic, grumpy old Scottish fecker, uh, but I love him to bits, and his drip tips are outstanding. Um, but the Hussar RTA is my personal favourite. Um, the build quality, for example, is not as good as, say, the Skyline that I just reviewed. The Skyline RTA, uh, out of the whole year, is the best tank, best build quality I've come across in a tank. In fact, it almost got the top spot, almost, but there's there's little design features in the Hussar that, that do it for me and float my boat, uh, and the just... What can I tell you? I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Um, now, as far as RTAs goes, the, the strange thing is that, that, that I mean, there's been so many RTAs out this year. Um, whilst the SAR's my favourite, the Skyline I think has the best build quality. Um, the ones that have been used because the SAR's only arrived late on in the year, the, the tanks that have been used most this year <laughs> will be my E Phoenix ones. Um the E Phoenix 1.2, 1.3 and the Hurricane Junior. Not the Hurricane Junior. Uh yeah, the Hurricane 1.2, 1.3 and the Hurricane Junior. Um the Hurricane Junior when it arrived didn't like, wasn't a fan. I've used it probably more than any other RTA this year uh, since it arrived. Uh, and, and that's what I'm using on the, the Squeezer by uh, Metal Madness. Because um, my air, the, the way I like air has changed so much this year that the airflow on it just suits me to a T. Uh, it's not a perfect tank by any stretch of the imagination. You have to take this bit off to fill it and it's a pain in the tits. But it just it wicks so well and the flavour's great from it. So a, a big shout out to the Phoenix guys on that one. Really happy with them. Uh, they've done me well this year. Also a shout out to the Squape guys, um, the X-Dream. I had a few issues with that at the start uh, but it's. I thought I was going to get rid of it very very quickly but I've hung on to it. It's done me well. Um, the Soul uh, by Van and Dell. I'm really enjoying that. That's another one that uh, I, went, I went and bought that one as well and I'm glad I bought it. I enjoy using it. Uh, it's a bit on the tall side, uh, but there is a, a a smaller version. It's actually on the way to me. Soulless, I think they're calling it, uh, and it shortens it, uh, and it still holds three mil, I think. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, the Kias, is it the Kias? Was it the Kias from At Mizzou? I was really happy to see something that I liked from At Mizzou this year, uh, because. Yeah, I didn't have much luck with one of their other tanks, but I really do like that one. And other than that, whilst I have tried so many other RTAs, those have been my favourites. Uh, also a shout out to EVL. Uh, the original Reaper was a bit too tight for me, but the flavour from it was tremendous. Um, I do actually have the prototype for an here. That's a prototype for his new one, uh, which has a lot more air to it, and uh, yeah, 
I hope he comes out with that soon. Uh, and and that's it for RTAs. Yes, I I love I do love my RTAs. Sorry. Um, I suppose while we're on tanks and stuff like that, uh, we should look at drippers. Now, drippers. <laughs> I. This is not just my favourite stuff of 2016, as in what came out in 2016. This is my favourite gear that I've used this year. And it's, I'm sorry, it's still the Narda. The Narda is still my favourite dripper, hands down. It still is, it just is, for me, is what I like. It's just, and I, I mean, I've got two here. I use one on my Dia all the time in squonking mode. It's the perfect squonking setup. It's just, ah, oh, awesome. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, the, the Narda still gets my top uh, dripper. And funnily enough, um, <laughs> I want to, I want to, you know, expand in this and say that something else is awesome and all the rest of it. But yeah, the Narda. Uh, I mean the OAT the the OAT was good, the the Hadley was good, um the the BF uh by Boost was awesome. It was really really good. The flavour from that's tremendous. And I still have those RTAs, I still use them on a regular basis. Um But my favourite is still the Narda. My second <laughs> My second favourite. I'm I'm so old and and yeah. I've had this for a long, long time now. A long, long time. Uh, the E Phoenix Resurrection, and it is still up there as one of my favourite drip atomizers. And that's the thing. The stuff like the Narda and this, like it's over two years old now, and um, the Narda is over a year old. It just goes to show how good I think they are because I still use them all the time. Um, this just is turning into a bit of a gush fest. Um, obviously, there's lots of other drip uh, drippers out there and squonking atties, you know, Clouds Bro and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't actually have. No. I, I don't have anything left that is stuck just a pure clouds bro type thing um it's just not my thing so uh, there you go um right do you know what's missing genesis atomizer i missed it i miss ah god damn um I, I think it's such a shame that a mesh you know not including a genesis atomizer in your best of any year just seems to be wrong it just does but I'd, I'd be lying if I said that I actually had one uh, that I still use now. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I still have, uh, I've got, well, I've got three three of them here. Um, but I, aside from firing them up for shits and giggles, that's it. And actually all three of them are over two years old. One, one of them's over two years old, the other two are over three years old. That's how old they are. But uh, it just... Yeah, there you go. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, what have I missed? Um, what have I missed there? I've missed. We've got an RTA, an RDA, uh, clearizer tank type thing. What do you call it? Well, I'll tell you. All I've actually got here that I do use on uh, a regular basis is when I'm in a hurry type thing is the serpent sub. Now I am actually a. I'm actually enjoy the the Kanger OCC coils, the the square ones, the original ones, the zero point five ones. I use them a lot. I use them in my billet box. I use them in my Serpent Sub. I have a Serpent Sub twenty five that I use on a regular basis as well. And there, if I'm going out and about, uh, just diving down the town or something, I do grab them and, and use them regularly. So the Watofo Serpent subs, um, quite a fan. Right, that's that's that. Um, 
meant to say the surprise one of the surprises of the year for me was um and I, just because I saw this um the vape geek guys um in the UK sent this on to me because the uh, for shits and giggles basically uh, it's the godfather uh, now I vape the godfather on my uh, mod from Jim Shorrock all the time um mainly because it's a 30mm tank and it's about the only mod I've got that you can actually put a 30mm tank on and get away with but that combo there I use an awful lot this is a very very good tank if you're into 30mm tanks if you're not uh, I would also give a big shout out now Simon, Simon Sawyers that I'm basing this list off of he sent me on the Aromamizer uh, Supreme because he thinks it's awesome and he thought I would like it. This is very good. Very, very good. I think this is 25mm, holds a shit ton of juice. Uh, juice flow control, airflow control, simple deck to build on. You can pump out the wattage with it. Um, it's it's a very good cheapy tank, this. Big thumbs up for that. And huge loving kisses to Simon who sent it on to me in the first place. Uh, right, what else have we got here? Best e-liquid. Um, the best e-liquid for me, th th listen this is obvious, this is this is obvious, this has been how long now? Three years? It's over three years. Um, goose juice, goose juice, um, quacks, goose juice, quacksters. Uh, Greg and Linda, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I love you guys. Um, they sent me on some of this three and a half, must be three and a half years ago, it has to be. Uh, and I fell in love with it. I used to vape Grant's Vanilla Custard all the time, but Grant kind of stopped, dis disappeared making stuff, uh, which is a shame. Uh, but this has been my all day vape for a long, long time, and it will continue to be so. Other juices that I've vaped this year and enjoyed, uh, obviously Trip Hammer Cream Tea, uh, I went through a litre of that stuff already this year, um, it was an all day vape as well. Um, other stuff, other stuff that I have, this is this is my little box of stuff that um, I really enjoyed uh, Breezy Shake, Breezy Shake, uh, yeah. What can I say? I just liked it. Uh, I really liked it. Um, what else have I got here that I enjoyed? Um, this is all just random stuff. Um, I did go through a lot of grumpy juice this year. Um, I also, and a huge shout out to Strawberry Fields E-Liquid. I have to say that. If I don't say that, then as I said, Simon Sawyers is a big bloke and he'll kick the shit out of me. Um, yeah, that that's that's all chuff stuff. Um, Heather at chuff stuff. She sent me on some uh, butterscotch caramel. I think it was that she made. I've ate a lot of that this year, and I really enjoyed it as well. Uh, also, uh, scopes. Uh, a secret sauce. I really like that. This is so much. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what. Actually, just uh, was. Uh, where is it? I got this stuff at the uh, Vape Fest and I just actually opened it the other day. Um, Trixie Corn Porn. Um, no, lush, really nice stuff. Um, obviously, you know the drill. Um, there's so many juice companies out there that it's impossible to name them all or the ones that I've dealt with or I like or people that I like. I can't make this into a people that I like type thing because then I would be here all night, all night. Um, so that's that for the e-liquid cotton. I'll tell you, the cotton, the only cotton that I use is uh, cotton bacon. Um, cotton bacon works for me in the way I vape. That's as simple as that. Um, I've tried lots of other cotton. I've been um, Rick from the Ideal Home Show sent me on some, which I've just about got through. I mean, this box here, flomp, full of cotton. Uh, 
what have I got here? Um, Fiber Freaks Original. Uh, I'm not a fan. It feels very synthetic. Uh, not a fan of that. Uh, I did. Uh, I've used a lot of that Native Wix. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. Uh, but the cotton bacon has just been tremendous. What else did I get this year that people said? Um, oh, that I got some of this uh, Texas stuff. Um, it's meant to last up to three times longer, high heat resistance. It's meant to be for sub ohm vaping your tits off type stuff. Um, for me personally, it tastes disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Uh, but it's possibly not meant for me. Uh, it's more for clouds stuff. Uh, so that's it for the cotton. Um, I'll mention wire. This is going to be very boring, I'm afraid. Um, very, very boring. Uh, a shout out to Rob at Stealth Vape. Um, I have been using, I think ever since I heard uh, Sean on Plumes mentioning this, uh, 27 gauge, uh, 0 0.35 millimeter stainless steel wire, not stainless steel, uh, just regular cathode wire. That's all I use. That's all I use. Uh, nothing exciting, I'm afraid. Uh, the whole clapped and flapped and alien, how's your father? Way past me. Uh, right, next. Uh, the best group. The best group. Oh no, I can't answer that if I don't say nay. <gasps> Oh no, there's so many people I could offend if I get this wrong. Um, you're all lovely people and thank you for having me in your group. <coughs> the group I'm on the most is Safer Vapors on Facebook. Simple as that. It is. It's the group I'm on the most. Um, uh, yes, I'll leave it at that. Obviously after that I'm on all the other groups all the time and love them all equally. Damn. Um, modder. Modder. Can I say modder? Because cause that's... Um, that's uh, okay. Um, modder. Sorry, that was me getting the... the sh sh wind it up type. Oh, four minutes now. Aye, alright. Three minutes. Ah. Um, modder. Listen, I, I can't answer that. Not because... I don't have one. No, I don't have a favourite modder. Like, um, I I know all the mods that I've got up there. Right, so there's um, Darwin mods, Darwin mods, G-Prov, RSM, uh, Limelight Mechanics. Um, I, oh, I forgot to give a shout out to this. Mechanical mod, this. I know it's got a MOSFET in it, but, well, tell you what, uh, we'll just call this an unregulated, well, it's unregulated, I don't know, kind of, is, uh, this is my BX Anatolian Mods, my baby, I absolutely adore this. Uh, if you're wondering about mechanical mech tubes, it's uh, still going to be my Kuro Concepts mechs, um, they were my favourites last year, they're my favourites this year. Uh, so, I give it a name and a mod maker is... Yeah, it's kind of hard. I know what I can do. I can cheat. Let's not do mod maker. Uh, let Let's just do this. Modmaker.co.uk. All these parts can be bought from there. There we go. Hey, <laughs> a little plug instead, uh, and hopefully that'll get me out of having to comment on who my favourite mod maker is. Uh, reviewer. Who's my favourite reviewer? <laughs> I, could, I could piss so many people off with this one. Uh, right, th this is a need to actually... I, I don't know how to answer this one. I am subscribed to a handful of reviewers. I mean a handful. Um, and I, I even then don't watch all their videos. Um, 
the reviewer I watch the most, uh, I'll answer, I'll do it like this. The reviewer I watch the most would be Dean, the vaping biker. He's a fanny. I'm going to give him the top spot, but I'm going to insult him at the same time because I can't be nice to him. Just be nice to him. I can't do that. It's impossible for me to do that. Um, ah! So yes, the reviewer I've watched the most this year would be the lovely sexual Dean the Vaping Biker. Um, obviously, uh, you've got so many other ones that, uh, you know, Damien Stachef and uh, Scott. I got to meet Scott this year. I get just 60. I got to meet him this year. <sighs> Ranks up their highlights of the year. I'll, I'll just, he's such a big bloke. Um, I, he, yeah, I kind of fanboyed out there because the guy was so instrumental in me stopping smoking and getting into doing what I'm doing here just now. There you go. Um, yeah, the, the, there's a list here. Bloody good vaping. Um, I, I get you 69. Inky Vapor, enjoy his reviews. Polly Meatballs. Uh, Mr. Bissardo, Ruby Roo, Suck My Mod, uh, Vaping V1CK, uh, yeah, there's review there's some reviewers for you. <laughs> How many people have I uh, offended? Oh, God, here we go again. Uh, entertainment show, right. The entertainment show I watch the most is still the ideal ohm show. Uh, and then after that, it would be the plumes, uh, the plumes guys. Um, yeah, that's it. That's as simple as that. Um, this is getting difficult now. Right, that's me. Uh, oh, how about the uh, vaping gadgets? What vaping gadgets do I use the most? Uh, I'm going to say the Coilmaster DIY kit. That's what I use the most. Um, I use all, you know. All the bits from the DIY kit are up there and, and I use them the most. Um, yeah, great bit of kit. Um, also, a uh, shout out for the Easy Dripper. The Easy Dripper, um, I highly rate and even if it's not for dripping, um, for depending on what kind of tank you use, if it's a top fill tank, this, these are great for filling up really quickly. Uh, like that a lot. Um, oh, 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 this wee thing, this is, I, I can't even remember where I got this from or where you buy them from, it's just a coiling rod with different diameters on it, um, I mean I have my, uh, let's get you out of here, This is the, the original uh, Kuro Concepts coiling set. Um, I used to use it all the time, but because I'm obviously a coiling genius now, sorry, I'm not a coiler, I'm a builder. Um, detect sarcasm in voice. Um, but now I just use this thing all the time. I, I just use that. Um, it's just so much easier. And yeah, I love it. Um, what, right, uh, what have I missed out? What have I missed out? Um, there's, there's so much. I, I, I'm going to avoid the politics and all that kind of stuff. Um, I know there's advocacy, a billion lives. There's there's drama. There's there's all that stuff and whatnot. But um, I'm not interested in it. I'm really not. Um, it's not what vaping's about. It's not what vaping's about. Vaping's about keeping you off cigarettes. That's all it is. It's about keeping you off cigarettes. Uh, so, there you go. There we go. Um, what else can I... I? That's really it. That is me. I've, I've covered everything that I can think of. Uh, mods, squonkers, mechs. Uh, yeah. Juice. Uh, drip tips. Um... I've nothing else for you. I've nothing else for you. Uh, if there is anything I've missed 
then uh, feel free to comment below or, or on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you want and uh, I'll try and address them in a vlog along the way. Um, to you, everybody that has joined in 2016 and started watching my videos, everybody that's been watching previously and has stuck with me since the beginning, um, thank you. Um, I never ever will get my head around why you watch and why you continue to watch. It will baffle me to the end of time, um, but I can only thank you um, for, yeah, thank you very, very, very much. I'll stop there because I'll gush, I'll start gushing. I could start talking about people that oh, just, right, I'm going to go off on one. Here we go. Ah, to hell with it. Um, seeing through various vape groups, vape groups, um, the work that people do for charities is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. If you're having, if you're feeling down or having a shit day or whatnot, you can go into some of these groups and see the crazy amounts of money that these strangers are are raising for other strangers that they don't, they might not have met in real life, they're only on the internet and, and, and changing people's lives and it's getting off the fags or the cigarettes is great but what's happened off the back of that and what I see now is just amazing, it's just heartwarming and that, that will be my, st <laughs> ah, uh, my standout moment of the year. Um, I think is um, uh, when John, uh, John Martin, uh, did his, his little leaving uh, video from, uh, as a, oh, see I'm struggling now, uh, as the admin from Safer Vapors, he put a little video together and, and one of the clips was him telling Paula how much money they'd raised for her and Amy and the family. the best moment of the year vaping related for me personally um right there's nothing else i could i could sit here and talk till the cows come home about vaping the other thing i'm going to mention at the end is obviously i gotta thank before i do that my job i'm very very lucky i am actually so so lucky. Uh, I have a great job. I work for a great couple of guys. Um, I was lucky this year that they, for whatever for whatever reason they trusted me uh, to to let me area manage look after their shops. Uh, so I've been doing that for the past month. Uh, and I'm getting my feet under the table, and it's been a bit up and down to start off with, but. Hopefully I'm getting there. Um, just a great company to work for. Great people in the company as it is. And I'm very, very lucky, blessed in that respect. Uh, and also a huge shout out to my dog, TJ. Who, let's face it, if it wasn't for TJ, my subscriber count would probably be four. Yeah. Because we all know that people only watch for the dog. And he's not here, he's in the house. Shit. Um, and last but not least, to the invisible Karen that you never see. Um, honestly, you might never see her, but without her, I wouldn't be doing this. And th that's a simple truth. That's a simple truth. I uh, love her to bits, she's my rock, and um, and there we go. I'm going to go now. I have no idea how long I've been going on for, but I'm starting to bore myself. So to you guys, let's find this big button at the back here and say adieu. No, adieu. Good night. I can't remember. Bye.